bundle. Is that a beginning or potentially how government is preparing us for food rationing for the future? I appreciate many may of you think that it's potentially going to save you time or save you money. Um, it doesn't save you money because prices that you pay on that bundle is actually the same as what that would be if you buy items individually. Saves you time potentially, but to me that takes away your choice. Christmas is one day a year, so I'm sure we can find extra five minutes to browse through the options of vegetables or potatoes that we'll have in our bundle or on our Christmas dinner. So it just got me thinking. It's just such a high possibility, in my opinion, that this is the way the rationing is going to happen. Somebody in the comments suggested before that prices increasing, obviously, of the products is a way of rationing because people generally then can't afford to buy, buy more more than they need to or generally can't afford to buy it at all. So thinking about it and seeing those bundles kind of definitely makes me think that this is how the things are gonna go forward. So basically say in a year's time down the line, um, or whatever time there may be, it's all you can buy is those bundles, is the bundles that supermarkets or government make, say it's a family of two or family of three, and here we go, you go to the supermarket or shopping online and the options are two, three or four people, meat or fish, <laughs> vegetarian, that's that. That's what you get and this is what you pay and you have no choice at all. So this is really, really scary for me. We like, as a people will like things easy, but I love to have a choice and I like to make my own choices. I don't want Asda to tell me that I have to put the Aunt Bessie's potatoes, you know, in my Christmas dinner and buy my frozen, they actually have frozen peas and corn as their Christmas dinner vegetable. Not being funny, but you know, do you really have a, corn and peas as a Christmas with a dinner? No, you, I, I don't. Many people maybe do, but um, forgive me, but I just not something that traditionally people have with a roast dinner. So anyway, the thought is there and it got me thinking. So maybe um, just think about it and I would like to know, guys, what you think to do with what do you think this is all about? Because if you have a look on the, on the Asda website, there is quite a lot of there. You've got like a pasta bundle. You have a bag of pasta and a jar of tomato sauce again. Brings me back to the COVID time when you only can have a tomato, <laughs> tomatoes like, um, sorry, a couple of bags of pasta and, you know, tomato sauce type thing. It just all seems to be there like a beginning how the thing's going to go into the future. Maybe I'm overthinking that, but being a prepper, I want to be prepared. And when I see things like this, it actually scares me. It's quite a lot of it out there. If you never looked at it, just go into the Asda's website in the groceries and just search bundle and it's to me it's absolutely scary anyway i'm just going to talk about the prices with you quickly the bundle as i said you've gone up to a 29 pounds so you have a turkey oh no i just said the vegetables i compare the prices to a little prices you can buy a turkey in little for 16 pounds 99 as the turkey was 18 pounds 50 and it said the eight to ten people i think it said on it but it was only 2.4 kilos yes it was a turkey crown so in little um the turkey you pay for 16.99 is actually 2.8 kilos to three and a half kilos and yes it's not a turkey crown but believe it or not turkey crown is actually even cheaper so i for some reason counted the price of 16.99 into this example but anyway this even cheaper so even more money be saved like the yorkshire puddings right they again they give you unbestage they give you the most expensive thing and they are at 1.50 and i think it's only like six of them there when you have a Christmas dinner, you have family get together, you generally will have more than six Yorkshire puddings. So you'll probably end up having a couple of packets that make you three pounds. Oh, hold on a minute, but but the bundle, they only gives you one. So you still have to go and get some more anyway. So up comparing the prices to Lidl, Lidl do um, 15 Yorkshires for 50p. So here we are, it's more like it. The same is with the frozen peas and corn. So two pounds 25, or you buy frozen vegetables in Lidl at 95p. But we all know in UK here around Christmas time, they're doing the bag of vegetables. Well, last year were 29p, and I think for a couple of years in tot they were 29p. Um, this year there might be a little bit more. There might be 49p, but nonetheless, at least you can actually make your own choice if you want to have a carrot or parsnips or traditional vegetables, and it still be cheaper than buying the bundle that they give you. And bearing in mind as well the turkey is not going to be delivered like now you can't have it now it has to be from the 19th and if many of you might have uh, remembered the last year there was absolutely huge issues with the turkeys because people ordered turkeys and they never got them or they've got chickens instead because they run out of turkeys or they had the wrong sizing so to me i wouldn't trust the bundle i wouldn't trust the fact that even to get my turkey so why would i want to risk that i might as well just go myself and pick my turkey from whatever you choose to 
to buy you turkey and have it there ready for Christmas Day knowing you're actually going to have it. And as well, considering this year, and I suggest you guys do the turkey buy earlier, of course it's all over the news again that the turkey farmers, you know, scaring us, it's not going to be enough turkey. It's like it was probably last year, the same probably reason. So here we are. If you want your turkey, I suggest you get it now. Um. Anyway, sorry guys, I'm rambling on, but it's not really my opinion, right? But normally... I think I have like a woman intuition, I normally feel what's coming and I told you that before. Again, I don't want to scare you, I just want you to think. Just think for yourself and just, what do you think of that? Anyway, I would like you guys to comment below your thoughts on why do you think potentially as they're doing that and just please comment your thoughts. Anyway, I hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll see you very soon again. Bye bye.